If you're looking for an entrance hall organizer, but you don't have enough space for a table, then maybe this DIY is for you. It's a rustic wall-mounted organizer, perfect for hanging your keys, caps, jackets, even putting your cell phone and wallets on top. It's really easy to make, let me show you how. So what you'll need, some 94 by 22 millimeter pine, and you're going to need a three meter and a 1.8 meter length. Craig jig, Craig screws, 16 millimeter screws, four hooks of your choice, two slotted hangers, your drill driver, jigsaw, sander, tape measure, pencil, and a square. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna be painting on some fired earth chalk paint in this gray. And then to create an effect, I'll be using some coarse sandpaper, dark soft wax, and I'll need a rag. Now the first thing we need to do before we start cutting our pieces, is just take off about five mils to remove these yellow ends. So now the pieces we need to cut are seven pieces of 500 long, and that'll give us our uprights. So now I'll mark and cut my seven pieces of 500 mils. Then for the shelf, we'll need one piece of 600 with our corners cut off at a 45 degree angle. So to mark off my corners, I'm just gonna measure halfway through the plank and then use my 45 to create the line. All my pieces are cut. Now I can lay them out into their positions and mark them. Now remember this is a rustic organizer, so I'm just randomly laying them out into a position that I feel happy with. And my shelf will go around there. So this is gonna be the back, so I'm gonna mark this up so I can draw my pocket holes. So probably about three pocket holes on each piece. So I'm marking it up and numbering it so that when I put it all back together after drilling, I know exactly where every piece goes. Now what I also like to do is just put an X on the side that I want to drill the pocket hole. Remember that when you're doing pocket holes, you don't drill on both sides. It's only one of the connecting sides. So I'll do my pocket holes on the right hand side. Now it's always important to remember that when you're using a Craig jig, you have to make sure that you set it to the size of your timber. So I'm using 22 mil. I'm gonna set it to 19 because that's the closest number. Now what's nice is the jig has markings on it, so it's easy to set your bit and your block to the right sizes. Now I can go to my Craig jig and drill the pocket holes so I can connect them all together. All those pocket holes are drilled, now I just need to drill the pocket holes for my shelf. So I'll just lay it over and what I need to do is just make sure that my pocket holes aren't going into a joint or between two planks. So I'll mark it off and I'll just put four screws along the length. Okay, all my pocket holes are done. Now I can give it all a good sand. Just remember not to sand off the markings because we will need those later. We're all finished sanding. Now we can lay them all face down again, line them up, and now we can fasten it all together with the Craig screws. All my screws are in and it's fastened together. Now don't stress if you don't have a Craig jig. Just use another piece of plank over the top and put your screws in from the back and you'll get the same effect. Now we can flip it over and attach our shelf. Now don't stress when you see a little bit of a bow and you put your shelf on, it's gonna straighten it all up and keep it straight. But the first thing we need to do is use our square to draw a straight line to fix the shelf. So now we just need to evenly space it and then fasten it down with the screws. Shelf is on, it's ready for some paint. Now remember I'm using the Fired Earth Chalk Paint. It's non-toxic, fast drying, and water-based, and it dries to a matte chalk finish. Now the great thing about chalk paint is you can easily create a distressed look by simply sanding some of the paint away and adding some dark wax. Now to seal and preserve it, I'm gonna use some of the Fired Earth Dark Soft Wax. This will seal it and give it a bit of an aged effect. Last thing to do, just install our hooks and our slotted hangers, and then we can go hang it on the wall. Now remember it's rustic, so you can put your hooks wherever you like, space them out however you want, put some cup hooks underneath for keys, do whatever you like and go mad. A really easy DIY and a great way of creating order in your entrance hall. Now remember everything I used here is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And if you want more videos like this, visit the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.